in this video we are going to start from question number 7 of exercise 15 a that is probability d to 7th edition up to question number 6 i have solved in my previous lesson so question number 7 is a spinner is divided into five equal sectors we have a spinner it has five sectors 1 2 3 4 5 where okay when the spinner is spun what is the probability that the pointer will stop at a sector whose label is hard first of all write down your sample space this is as you know question number seven what are the possible outcomes right collect all your outcomes first of all we can have a where the pointer may stop like this pointer may stop over here it may stop over here it may stop over here or we may have a star okay or we may have a letter b or we have a heart like this or we may have a letter f no that is sample space okay okay my star is basically not a proper one let me try it again okay it's better now what is the probability of having a heart okay now you know these are your outcomes and from your outcomes you can see we have one heart out of total number of outcomes one two three four five so the answer is one over five the probability is number of favorable outcome divided by total number of outcomes favorable outcome is heart which is once in this sample space my total outcomes are five part number two a letter of the english alphabet probability of having a letter of english alphabet now that is uh, we have how many letters from english alphabet a b f we have three letters in sample space that belongs to english alphabets out of total number of outcomes are five so answer will be three over five number three probability of having a vowel then how many letters are vowels a okay we have only one vowel a out of total number of outcomes one two three four five so sample space helps you a lot in finding the probability and number four is consonant probability of having a consonant no we have one vowel by b and f they are consonants so two consonants out of one two three four five outcomes so answer is two by five this is the answer for question number seven in question number eight form exercise 15a they have told us that we have a bag that contain four pieces of candy write down which type of candy we are having caramel then we have a chocolate candy then we have gummies okay and then we have egg rice okay now this is my collection of outcomes and as you know my collection of outcomes and item basically this is termed as sample space okay the collection of outcomes with the probability experiment now we have to find the probability that the candy is a caramel probability of having a caramel now that is quite simple how many uh, outcomes are of caramel in my sample space in my sample space we have one caramel and total number of outcomes are four so one over four is the answer in part number two either a chocolate or a gummy probability of having chocolate or a gummy no that is probability of chocolate plus probability of gummy as i told you that for or you need to add the probabilities of chocolate and gummy now what is the probability of having a chocolate we have one chocolate in my sample space and we have total number of outcomes four and we have one case for gummies out of total number of outcomes again four we can take the lcm one plus one is two by four which is 
वन बाय टू ओके पार्ट नंबर थ्री इज प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ हैविंग नॉट आ लिक्वराइज नो दैट इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ हैविंग लिक्वराइज द सेम केस एज वी डिस्कस प्रीवियसली प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ हैविंग नॉट ऑफ अकरिंग नॉट इवेंट probability of not event do not occurring an event is equal to 1 minus probability of occurrence of that event no probability of not a liquorice is 1 minus probability of having a liquorice so that is 1 minus no probability of having a liquorice how many liquorice we have in our sample space we have one total total number of outcomes are 1 2 3 4 in my sample space we can simplify it by taking lcm 4 1 into 4 is 4 4 into 1 4 1 into 1 1 so the answer will be 3 by 4 this is the answer for question number 8 question number 9 is an envelope contain 40 shopping vouchers of which 25 vouchers each have a value of dollar 50 and 15 vouchers each have a value of dollar 100 Amira picks a voucher at random from the envelope. Find the probability that the voucher has a value of dollar uh, hundred. This is question number nine. Okay, we need to first of all understand vouchers having a value of dollar fifty. You no, know, they are how much in number? They are twenty five in number. And vouchers having a value of dollar 100 they are 15 in number while total number of vouchers are 40 now when you are going to talk about the probability of having a voucher that has a value of dollar 100 now that is equal to how many vouchers are they are having a value of dollar 100 we have 15 vouchers out of total 40 which have a value of dollar 100 so 15 vouchers are uh, of our concern while total number of vouchers are 40 53 and 15 58 times 40 so 3 over it will be the answer for this question in question number 10 they have uh, given us the information that a group of 30 people consisting of 9 uh, men question number 10 we have 30 people out of them 9 are men whereas 6 are women then we have 12 boys and three girls okay three girls and they are waiting to get their passport photographs taken a person is selected at random from the group okay we select a person at random from the group find the probability that the person is male we have to find the probability that the person is male okay now for that just count how many males we have in total number of people we have 9 men and 12 boys so 12 plus 9 is 21 and total number of people are 30 and you can simplify it 3 7 times 21 3 times times 30 that is answer for this one now second part is probability of either a woman or a boy or a girl okay now for that you need to add the probabilities of women plus probability of boy plus probability of having a girl so probably so that will be equal to probability of having a woman plus probability of having a boy plus probability of having a girl whenever or will be used you will 
add the probabilities. The probability of a woman, how many women do we have? 6 out of total number of people, 30. Probability of boys, how many boy we have? 12 boys and total number of people, 30. Plus probability of girls, we have 3 girls and total number of people, 30. Now I take LCM, 30 will be the LCM, 6 plus 12, 18 plus 3, 21. Now that is again 7 over 10 by simplifi simplification. Now that is also for question number 10. This is the solution up to question number 10 from exercise 15 D to 7th edition. In my next lesson, I will update, upload question number 11 onwards. Thank you so much.